All right, hello everybody. We are on to part two of the drag and drop editor within Custom.io. Um, and we're gonna focus on this second row here. Last time we did the top and you can still see I have those elements here. Um, all right, so we've got a divider, social and HTML. This one will actually be pretty quick. These are pretty self-explanatory and there's not too much to them. So if I drag over a divider, the purpose of a divider is to create space and room to breathe, separate sections within your content. By default, it automatically puts in a line here with a tiny bit of padding above and beneath the line. If I click on that section, all of the content properties pop up here. So <clears throat> I can make this section transparent. So if I want to keep the divider but um, have no line involved, I enable the transparency. If I'm keeping the line, there's some formatting things that I can do with it, like I can change whether I want a solid dotted or dashed line. I can increase the width. I can change the color, okay? <clears throat> and then I can change how wide I want this line to be. Right now, by default, it goes across the whole span of content. If I were to drop this down to 50 or so, you can see that it, um, it gets rid of a lot of the uh, size. Now, and by default, it's centered aligned. I can go left or right as well. Like any of the other content blocks, I can add padding, um, which will add more space. And uh, as well, I can hide on desktop or on mobile. Okay? <clears throat> Pretty straightforward. As for social icons, by default, uh, you get Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, but you are by no means limited to those. You get some predetermined style formatting. Uh, <clears throat> uh, there's actually a pretty large set of icons here, both from a dark, uh, dark mode view or just uh, black content. Um, circle icons, square. Uh, they've got a pretty nice breadth of um, options here that you can choose from. I'm just going to stick with the original. And these are pretty straightforward. You just put links to the social properties that you want to um, push people towards. There are a few options, like just changing the title and alt text, and that's it. <clears throat> so it's just changing what shows up in the image. Basically, it's default images that are packaged nicely um, for social. You can add, there are plenty of other ones you can add. So there's social follows here uh, that you can link to your social properties. Um, there's also social share, and what that does is it gets rid of, you don't have to, if you want people to be able to share content to one of these social platforms, <clears throat> this makes it easy to do so. I'll just choose Twitter here, for example. And what I would do, you can see it labels it as a share here. So instead of like a URL directly, right, it's going to create a Twitter post with content. And so I'm going to say, I love this tool. What happens <clears throat> when I've done that, if I come in preview and I click the link, it'll pop up Twitter with a content that I put in there so that people can share it, okay? So that's the difference between a share and then just a normal link uh, social icon. And then they have a, just the, a link icon and a, like an email icon if you want. You can add custom ones too if you don't like the options, but there's, there's a lot of options here. All right. Again, there's some alignment stuff. You can go left, right, or center. Uh, you can change the spacing between the icons, and then padding is there available as well, and uh, hiding on desktop and mobile. All right, uh, last but not least, there's not much to go through here, but <clears throat> when you drop an HTML block in, by default it adds this text, but really it's just a blanket HTML editor for you to work with. Uh, you can have your designer or uh, someone with some better technical background that if you need to configure a special piece that can't be done within the drag and drop editor, but you still want to utilize the drag and drop editor, this is how you do it. Uh, you'll insert your code here and uh, however it ends up, whatever you're building will show up. They have this little warning here that says uh, make sure you know what you're doing. And again, you can hide on desktop or mobile. All right. So those are uh, the 
three uh, next pieces of the drag and drop editor, and this next video we'll do the last three.